we're going to show you the concept dual tip markers today. There are lots of markers on the market, uh, uh, alcohol based markers. When it comes to the concept markers, uh, I think value, value, value needs to shine through as much as quality. I'm going to just show you because the product demonstrations we do here are not so much as sales pitches to just give you an opportunity to kind of see how they'll work for you. They can produce four different points based on the chisel tip nib and the uh, fine uh, point nib. And I'll just lay it down. I'm using a, a marker paper here, the, uh, the fine tip that you can get. And it's not, it's not a brush tip. It's a fine tip and it's, it's fairly resilient. It doesn't have much give. I can kind of show just using it to the side there. You can see that it keeps its shape. It doesn't bend like a, if it was like a brush tip. And then the chiseled edge. And one of the other things that uh, while I'm doing this, you can notice is the uh, very even ink flow. It's a 72 color line, although we do have sets of, uh, well, we have sets of 12 of the basic colors, 24 of the full color range, and the cool and warm gray sets. Now that I have the chisel tip here, you can see that it can make a very broad line, but the ink flow is so consistent. They're very juicy markers. And then depending on the angle at which I hold it, you can get different line weights a little bit thicker, a little bit thinner. Line weight's important because when you're working with a marker that's not a brush or you know a brush tip with that kind of soft um, edge, you want to be able to have some consistency but also making sure that they flow evenly. Uh, I guess the best thing that I can do is kind of show you some work that's already done that will give you some examples of uh, how the artwork um, that you can make with it will come out and also how they layer when they're dry. You can see on this little color chart that we had had made one pass and then a second pass where you can get those tonal values. And that's an important thing that they, they can create those values so that you can create depth in your artwork depending on what you're doing and what you're working on. Also, there's a colorless blender that is sold separately or comes in the sets and you can just kind of get an idea of how they would blend together. You see here the, our orange and our, and our green and kind of our, our purple, makeshift purple, but purple's a, a tough one, it could be a tough one. Um, but then more importantly, the finished product, some artwork. So we've got kind of some fashion stuff here. You can see those tonal values being laid in, more comic book type art over here. And then using uh, something like the colorless blender, you know, we have our, our baseball that was able to create soft gradients throughout it using one color. And then finally, uh, cool grays and warm grays, which are very popular, especially uh, for design students. Um, you can see our, our cool grays and our warm grays put on paper here using those sets. So these are the concept dual tip markers. Uh, great value, great product. Uh, whether you're just starting out in markers or uh, you're looking for a, a, an alternative to what you're currently using or to add to your arsenal, uh, give them a try. Thanks.